Beware of but Melissa. Be very, very careful. <laughs> this thing is like seriously heavy, you guys. <laughs> I gotta put this down. Watch out. I got I'm in my sandal feet today. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Holy buckets. That is gonna do some damage. <laughs> We're just killing time. We're just hopping on. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back to MK Quilts. We got everybody in the house today, including that sledgehammer. <laughs> if you're tuning in thinking you're going to see some sledgehammer action, uh, not this week, but we're getting closer. So we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. So give us a shout out. Give us a hello and where you're coming to us from. And if you don't catch us live, uh, always just hit replay and hello where you're coming from. So hope everybody is doing well. We are doing well. Uh, Paul, did I hear, did I hear something on the news about a storm coming? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's just a little storm. Just what we need. More tropical weather. Goodness. Well, you guys, we are back to just... Uh, hi, Colleen. We're back to just share a very brief list again today. We'll see Which if I can... Which means we'll talk 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I'll try to keep it brief. <laughs> so, um... Basically, I just wanted to welcome you to Demo Days, and I'm not talking about the Handy Quilter one, although I'll mention that in a minute. Welcome you to Demolition Days. <laughs> so uh, I, I posted a couple of videos yesterday. Hope you caught those. So the demolition has begun next door, and uh, they really worked really hard, but pretty fast yesterday, and basically... We kind of changed our mind a little bit about what we wanted to do with one of the walls and we just decided knock everything down. Hi, Kevin. So a couple of friends were helped out yesterday and basically they just went to town. Now this is good management because I did <laughs> nothing. We delegated. We delegated. <laughs> I put a little code box on the front so they could get let themselves in. I was working from home in nice air conditioning, and they're tearing it down. You've seen the pictures. Oh, yeah. So Dave and, Dave and Chris are definitely coming to our Christmas party this year. So. Yeah, so I mentioned that I'm extremely blessed to have such great friends that uh, are able to help us, and they have the time and the willingness to do it. So, so yeah, it, we really, really appreciate that there's plenty of things that we're gonna have to hire for but um, you know any any help that we can get is greatly appreciated so just keep watching we will post video or I will post video as much as I can to uh, just let you come along and kind of watch that whole process so uh, what else have we got uh, just in the way of re oh go ahead I love what she totally <laughs> stopped no, I was just going to say, I've got something. She loves when I say this. I've got something I haven't told you. <gasps> OMG. Do you want to say it now or later? No, we can say it now. Okay. I, we're just, oh, I thought we were just oh, going time before you get the list. But <laughs> okay, so what do you got there, babe? We had a couple uh, partner applications, people that want to be our service technicians around the country. And one of them, which is really promising, is in Alaska just south of Anchorage. Now, Alaska is a big state. <laughs> is it, it the way. biggest? Is it the biggest? Place? I think it's bigger than three, what, three times bigger than Texas or oh something? I don't know. I mean, gosh. The, the maps don't really show it, but trust me, people are all around the edges of Alaska there, the sane ones anyways. Um, oh, I'm not going to get email or <laughs> comments about that, but... No, I'm excited because I know you've got followers up in Alaska. Yeah. You've sent stuff up and, and things like that. I mean, I I like that we've got followers everywhere. Oh, by the way, and I forgive me if I forget her name, but I don't know if people noticed the newsletter listings. Within that first day, we had hundreds of openings of our letters. And I think the five I saw in Kenya was probably one follower of ours there that wow. I, I know is out there but that wow. was wow i had no idea so we're 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 spreading all over like a virus here <laughs> 
Wow, well, that's great. I mean, we mentioned about maybe having somebody in Hawaii, and now we got cover Alaska, maybe. Wow, we could be doing some traveling next year that we haven't planned on. <laughs> when we are so Oh, close. gosh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, basically, we are in growth mode again. And it just, I was just talking to a gentleman who came uh, to pick up. We had some lumber left over le next door, and Paul posted about it. And this gentleman reached out within 10 minutes and came. And he was really, really nice. And we were talking, and he wanted to see what I do here. And everybody who comes in that is kind of like not a quilting person, they're like, oh, so you make and sell quilts. I'm like, y yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what we do here. <laughs> um, but he was just, we, we got to talking a little bit about social media and how he, you know, kind of trolls. And I don't mean that bad, but he watches social media things to to get things for his company and get get business and get supplies. And, you know, I told him how I have built my business on the social media platform. So uh, it was just nice. He was a very nice man and gave me his card and we might hire him to do some other things. He does cabinet maintenance. And, and stuff like that. So I just, it just amazes me how far, as Paul was mentioning, that our reach has really gone over the last like three years. I was, I was scrolling social media a couple of days ago and this video came up of me, one of my, I don't know if I was really calling it live feeds at the time or what it was, but oh my goodness, I looked ridiculous. <laughs> And I was in my garage in a t-shirt and I'm like, oh, wow, how far we have come and how much further we're going. I'm so excited to be getting a space where I can really, uh, you know, jazz it up a little bit with the lighting and, and the audio and things that we were talking about a couple weeks ago. So, uh, you know, it's all progress. It's all growth and it's very good. So what I was going to say, is that it, sweetheart? Well, no, Leslie wants to know where in Alaska. I said south of Anchorage. And it's oh, Sterling, right. Alaska, which on the map is south. Uh, I so, forgot, anyways. Leslie, you're up there. Yeah, awesome. So Leslie must be the one. So. And my friend, um, my friend Liz, she's been a follower for many years. She's in Kodiak. I don't know where that's like way out there. <laughs> But anyways, we're just so thrilled to be able to reach people far and wide. And we're actually even getting more local people that are finding us and people that want to come for test drives. And we've um, gotten recently some new long arm customers that have found us through some of our ads that we've done. So, uh, yeah, it's just we're growing, we're expanding, and it's really, really exciting. So I just wanted to go, do a little bit of a review and a, a final thank you. So, of course, last week, a uh, couple big things happened. Uh, you saw Paul and I celebrated our anniversary, and I posted it here on the group. So thank you for allowing me to do something a little bit more personal on the group. But, wow, those pictures of us, huh? What would you think about that? <laughs> I was telling Paul, what was I thinking with that hat that I wore back in 1989? Well, and then you <laughs> married a 12-year-old. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, we, we look pretty darn pretty darn young there, didn't we? But uh, yeah, it's been a great 30 years, honey. And, and if you missed that wine story from the night of dinner, you have to go back and look at the posts, how we ended up with a bottle of wine called Quilt. I mean, this is not a coincidence, I'm just saying. So the other big thing that happened last week, of course, Ellen and I were on the road together last weekend, and uh, we had a really nice time together, Ellen and I. Um, Ellen and I are very different, but we, we get along very well as just kind of a worker, co-worker, or a worker, uh, employee, employer kind of thing. But we also have this, we share this love of quilting. And, you know, she has different tastes in her style of quilting and her fabric choices. And, you know, we just, we just had a really nice time road tripping together and uh, finished up with the sim session over there in Orlando with one of our owners. So it was really great to end the year, end my sim session with an owner. We had a great, great time. We even had a bird in the final picture. Did you see that? My owner's son works for SeaWorld and they have adopted a bird that was retired from, from SeaWorld. And this bird, I think Marshall was saying the bird could live to be 90 or 100 years old. It looked like a macaw, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, some very, very rare, beautiful bird. And I think it's, I think he said she's only 30 or 40 years old right now. Mm. So she has a lot of, a lot well, of living. They retire early, don't they? A lot of living left to do. So, so wonderful time. Thank you, Ellen, for coming along with me. And uh, speaking of Ellen, 
one. The next thing on my little list here is, uh, what's Leslie saying? Three and a half hour. Oh, that's pretty close, all things considered, uh, Leslie. So the other thing in way of review is double wedding ring. So I am this, this, this close to being done with that class. When I show you the frames, uh, the double wedding ring, I just did my last spoken piece of footage this morning and I'll be wrapping up that class uh, this weekend. So just re remember, if you want the piecing double wedding ring class, you will get the quilting part of the class with the piecing part of the class. So you might just want to get that other class, I'm just saying, <laughs> okay, because it's all going to be bundled together. If you just want to get the double wedding ring class, it's going to be a good one. As most of my classes are, you guys, I really kind of plan it to be short and then does it end up being short, Paul? Uh, no. <laughs> does the file end up being small or large? <laughs> So basically the moral of the story is it's my take on quilting double wedding ring all the way from line drawing to my approach to layout and rendering to all of the steps that I did at the quilt. Things like duplication and grouping, how I saved workspaces, um, just all kinds of alignment things, tips that I did with the feet that I'm using, skew options. So much stuff is covered in this double wedding ring class that even if you never do a double wedding ring, I bet this class would be helpful for you <coughs> just bless you honey oh. just because all of this other stuff that I wrap in with my my online classes okay so it's gonna be a good one I'm just saying but I'm very very close to being done with that so keep watching uh, da, 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 da. yep anything else Paul that you yeah just thought of while I was talking okay no no I, I... Okay, so obviously our communication after 30 years can still use some work, but we said we were going to wing it. So I'll talk a little bit about what I've okay. been up to. All right. And, you know, some people, especially those out of the country, have been having troubles with making purchases on our website and PayPal's been kicking them out. And uh, we added an alternative uh, merchant provider in the past, so you'd have an option to run your credit cards through a, another source to get it done. Long story short, Weebly, who is our provider for our store, dropped support for something that, and then didn't tell me, and I got a little upset. So the good news is, in a couple of weeks, we're gonna be debuting a brand new MK Quilts shop, a new store, and I'm thinking we might just put it at shop mkquilts.com. We'll put all the links. Uh, you'll see slow changes in the website and things. We're doing this to put better features in there. You'll be able to have your own user account so that, you know, sort of like Amazon, when you log in as yourself, you'll see all your older purchases. You won't have to re-enter all your information. You'll be able to manage your credit cards, ways of payment. Uh, we're stepping it up to a, a nicer um, more full featured store online. Uh, I do have one question out there and we'll probably have to put it as a survey. Right now we're running Yando as a, a video site so you can purchase and view the videos online, but most of our people are buying the USB sticks and having it shipped to them. Now, we'll probably have to keep Yando out there for a while, but I'd be interested to find out how many people actually watch the videos online but do not own the USB hard copy. So, you know, comment here. I'll check the comments. Watch for a, for a uh, poll put out there on Facebook. But we're just looking at where we invest our money. I think this new store site might be able to give previews of the video and allow you to order the video and the... USB type setup all, all at once, trying to simplify things so that it makes it easier. So enough nerd talk. I can tell <laughs> Melissa's already going to sleep. No, no, no. Actually, I was just thinking about um, how much I appreciate Paul's expertise and, you know, all of his, his background that, that comes into play with our business is just I mean, I could not afford to pay somebody what it's really worth what he does for, you Tell know. Me about it. Well, look at this dog. I, <laughs> I know. It's like, does the dog have it I'm tough or what? Stay here. <laughs> I'm okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so I appreciate I appreciate Paul and all of the things that he does just on the tech side of things uh, because it just it's huge for me. I, I just I don't have that skill set and I would have to hire somebody and it just it I can't even tell you. So thank you, honey. I really really appreciate that. You're sweet. But it does um, it does actually lead into the next thing on my list. Kind of has to do with our store. I wanted to mention that we we have had several orders recently for. Um, zippers okay so you hopefully you all know that the way that i load quilts here on the frames if is with a combination of zippers and grips and it's been my biggest watch video on youtube i've sold so many sets of the zippers and the grips but just a few weeks ago we changed suppliers and i ordered a huge order and i thought they could just get it out in short order and yeah no so we're waiting zipper products are on back order um i believe you can still sell them or i mean buy them you didn't shut that down did you so if you go on and watch my loading video and you want the zippers just a heads up they are on back order we will obviously get them out just as soon as we can and just as way of a reminder about the zippers what I do with my zippers is I have a friend who does sewing for me and what we do is we add a fabric tab onto the zipper itself. That just makes it so that when you're loading with the zipper, you're not right up close to the teeth of the zipper and the pulls and all of that. So we give you a little bit of clearance with some fabric. So we sew all of that on, well she does, Pam, sews all of that on, she makes the casing, she makes them to fit. And then basically we send that to you and there is a video that goes along with the purchase of the zippers that tells you how to do the final installation in your studio with your leader because I don't have your leader, you do. <laughs> so you, there's one final step that you have to do to attach it in your in your studio, okay? So that's how the zippers work. I love them here. Uh, they just make loading go so, so fast. Okay, the other thing is, I think I talked about it last week or maybe the week before, um, the uh, instruction manual for Pro Stitcher Premium. If you order that on our website, is that still up or has that been it, closed down? It is. It is still up in some form. I thought I'd taken part okay. of it down, but somebody did order it and they know we're waiting. We don't want to ship you stuff that isn't complete. Yeah, so, so we have been told that Handy Quilter is doing a revision or an addendum or something to that manual. And so we just don't want to print a whole thing that, that we might find out a week later has undergone a complete like revision. And then what you just got is outdated. Okay, so we kind of been holding off on doing the print on that. But other types of print materials, you guys, if if you want to order up art and stitch print material, um, Handy Quilter stopped sending printed uh, machine manuals long ago. They always send a little USB stick with the machine and you can go in there and get the manuals. You can get all of the manuals on Handy Quilter website. But if you want to waste, if you don't want to waste your ink and you want us to print them for you, we can do all of that. It's all on the website. Okay. All right, now to the true demo days. So we kind of have dueling promotions going on right now from Handy Quilter. I had mentioned at the beginning of the month that I wasn't allowed to speak about it until Handy Quilter gave us the green light to talk a little bit more openly about some of the specials that they're gonna be having in conjunction with the Houston International Quilt Festival. So the first thing is demo days. Demo days for us is kind of over with. We sold both of our floor model demos, uh, demo machines I already told you McFinity's not going anywhere and when we get our replacement machines in next week they need to hit the road running because we're getting into our busiest time of the year but it's really not a big deal because the the new promotions and the pricing that's going to be coming out in correlation with Houston is awesome. I just posted the flyer on both of my pages here and on my business page. Uh, so basically, here's the deal, you guys. We are not going to post about specific pricing. There is pricing on Handy Quilter's website. All I am going to tell you that I'm allowed to tell you is there's going to be special show pricing in Houston. We can start talking about that now and writing deals. And there's even a little add-on thing that you can do with that. So what Melissa said is true. Now, other people might not do this for you, but we've started quoting these prices because we don't want to quote you a price. And two weeks later, you hear that there was a special price. So we're looking out for you when we quote. If we know there's a way to save you some money, we're telling you up front. And 
I, we're, we're there for you. I can tell you that if you don't order your machine before November 4th, you're going to pay more for it for another probably 12 months because this is the lowest time of the year we're going to get to that we're allowed to sell. So yep. if you're looking for a new system and then the perks on top, Now's the time. Uh, this is not BS. <laughs> I've been filling these out. A lot of people yep. are trying to scramble to make this happen, but November 4th will be the end for the big special. Yeah, actually, well, the form on here says November 3rd, so do you have your date good on that? They're probably giving us retailers <laughs> a day to fill out the paperwork Forms, and get okay. it in. So, okay, the third then. But, <laughs> All well, right, but the point of it. it is, you guys, is we have been speaking to a lot of people about mm. machines um, and, you know, Houston, it's just such a fun and exciting time of the year for all of us in our industry. Um, unfortunately, we can't squeak in. With everything going on next door, I've got training next week. Um, we're going on our cruise. There was just no way that we were going to be able to make it to Houston. But it's such a fun and exciting time of the year. And, of course, Handy Quilter just came out with a new machine as well. All of that will be in Houston. We don't necessarily focus on that here, but obviously we can sell those sit down machines so um you know it's just a great great time to buy you guys and we're just being really honest with you our normal pricing that we offer is not what you're gonna <laughs> see this month it's it's higher okay but we honor what Hyundai Quilter is doing always always so um, now is the time you guys seriously if you're at all thinking about it try to work it out you got a couple of weeks <laughs> a little over a couple of weeks to get so, it done so let's talk a little financing there um, there there is a financing that doesn't jack up the price there's no fees it's a zero percent 12 month you know so if you can pay it off or get financing in the 12 months and pay it off it's zero interest. So for those of you that might be going for money from their retirement or some loan and you think that can't happen before November, realize you might be able to qualify for a, a 12 month um, no interest loan and have all that time to set up the other financing. So sometimes it's been our experience that the 12 month offer and when you're buying a big machine with the pro stitcher and all that that's a that's a pretty big chunk of change a lot of times people won't qualify for the entire amount but you might qualify for a portion of the amount so why not use somebody else's money for a, a year <laughs> right as long as you make the payments i mean you know kind of a no-brainer so maybe you have to work out some other things um Hi, Melissa. Hey. Julie, hit, hit replay after it's done. <laughs> she was 18 minutes late. Okay. So, anyways, you guys, there's. it seems like there's always a way to get it done. And, um, you know, li like we've said before, we understand that this is a huge purchase. We never want anybody to be regretful from purchasing from MK Quilts. And we want to make this the best, biggest purchase that you've ever made. We want to we wanna make it smooth for you. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do that this month. Okay, so <laughs> that thing is heavy. How heavy do you think that is? I'm not Careful, sure. Careful, the dog said, is yeah, down I there. I don't kill the dog God. with this, but yeah, so, they were taking down walls with this thing. Big Paul Bunyan. So stuff. next week, I have a visitor in shop for like at least three days of training. I'm going to get her for a couple of days. She wants some time with Ellen for some free motion stuff. But after we get done with our training next week, I think at least one of the replacement machines is coming um the following week hopefully we can have some hard hats on and get that sledgehammer and ellen and i will take it to the wall and bust through to the other side so i'm i'm super excited so anything else honey otherwise i'm going to show them what's on the frames i think we're done don't trip over the sledgehammer oh gosh yeah <laughs> let me go ahead and move that sledgehammer i don't need to be out of commission this time of the year <laughs> All right, so over here on McFinity, actually this is just um, four twin size quilts that are made out of this really pretty plaid fabric. The backing fabric too is like beautiful. I guess this is just getting quilted up. It's, there's no piecing there. I think they're going to some cabins or something the owner is making them for. And then as I mentioned over here, no McForte, she's on her way to North Georgia. And uh, over here is the beautiful double wedding ring that I just 
just finished up. This was the focus of my online Pro Stitcher class on double wedding ring. And a thank you to my customer who gave me permission <coughs> to, to show it and use it in the class. Her name is Tony. Tony, your quilt is beautiful. And uh, yeah, we're, I just got a little bit of things to, to do left on there. But basically, it's done. So I'll be, I'll be talking to you, Tony. Over here, McMara is gone as well. Uh, the table's kind of serving as a... <laughs> <laughs> just a holding zone right now uh but yeah that's what we got going on this week for you guys as always it's great to join you it's uh we appreciate you so much and uh you know give us a call between now and that first week in november let's see what we can get you uh hooked up in in the way of a new machine okay from our studio to yours happy quilting see you next week Bye bye <laughs>